I'm very excited to announce that I'm teaming up with Mr. Humble. He has a Facebook group chat called Madden Competitive Gaming. Link to that is in the description. If you want to get some good games, some good competition, want to lab with some people who know what they're doing, go check it out. Just send an invite request and you'll get invited. It's a whole lot of fun. Been on there for a couple of days now and it's been a great community. Make sure to check it out and have fun watching this video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel everybody. Now I just woke up so that means that I'm a little bit tired. I sat down in front of the computer, I reviewed some of the games that I played yesterday on stream, link to my Twitch is in the description. And this is from one of the games where I really struggled on defense. And this is going to be part two of my A slot offense and I did one way back in the year. If you want to check that out, link is up there in the corner. And I'm going to give you an update on kind of the things that this guy has shown me and some of the things I learned from other games. And I'm going to show this to you right now. Um, and the thing about this uh, is, gonna, is that it's gonna, only going to be for the uh, spread offense. So this is not something that is compatible with the, um, with the Patriots. At least not entirely. Some plays are definitely compatible. But one play is in here that is only the uh, spread. I always get balanced and spread mixed up. Only in the spread play, we're going to want to talk about this now. Now, before we get into it, zoom in on me. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to my best to put two videos out today that are very helpful to you guys. And this is going to be the first. I have one later today. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I promise it's going to be straight fire. So let's talk about Aislaat Asset. Two players we need. We need a running back with backfield master. Get a, get a receiving running back, or at least get a running back that has the receiving back archetype. That means he's only going to be one AP and then get it, get a Titan with a Titan apprentice. Uh, that is two AP in this position right here. Of course, if you were to flip it, let's flip it. Then you, yeah, then you would want it right here. That is only for one setup though. If you don't want to run that setup, even though it is in my opinion, one of the best setups in the formation, if you don't want to, want to run that, obviously you don't need it. Now we want to talk about our audibles stick. I don't really like stick. Gotta be honest. We want to put in posts or levels y sale whichever one you prefer if you want to come out in uh posts then you always want then you want to have levels by sale if you come out in levels by sale then you want to have posts uh, inside zone i really like inside zone and everything else man you already have it in your audibles uh pa shot post not really p uh, post real shallow i will maybe go into that in another video but for now this should be good enough the guy that i played only ran uh, a couple of plays on me and i'm going to show you this now it seems like not a lot. Uh, this uh, uh, post wheel shadow is not that amazing. He didn't run it once on me, so I'm gonna stick with the plays that he ran. But if I find some glitch, then I'll obviously let you know. Maybe can another video on this formation. But let's come out on posts. And this was the number one play that he ran against me, and it really screwed me up. So what he did was he would streak Kelsey, and he would smart draw Thomas. That's it. Now you might say that this looks very easy to defend, but you see. You have to worry about the seam. You have to worry about the corner. So this is one thing that I will show you now. Uh, he gets he gets bumped right there, which means that it's not going to be as good. But in the game, maybe I'll show you some clips of the game afterwards. He consistently got outside of my uh, got outside of my curl flats. So maybe I'll change the zone drops. But right there, you see how we get outside of him. That is the second read. So first read. It's going to be try to see if the opponents use the cheats on the streak. And if he does, then you can throw that. If you, make sure you have Gunslinger on your quarterback. I have Brett Favre. He has the best release in the game, no doubt. Especially with Gunslinger. It's amazing. So he's going to zip that ball in really easily. So right there, boom. Nothing easier than that. If my, if I, if I, Whenever I uh, when I was playing this game, whenever I cheated down with the user a little bit, he just threw that immediately. And it was... It was really annoying to stop, but yeah, streak, corner, now we have the running back. Very easy, nothing easier than that. Just take the running back, and this, my bad, I made a mistake. All right, so streak, uh, corner, running back, now we have that post, and even though the hook curl just followed, let me actually adjust so it doesn't follow, you will see that this post smart routed, uh, very important probably to mention. This only works if you're somewhere between second and eight third and 12 somewhere around there first and 10 some, something like that then the smart route is really good so you see smart route it's now he doesn't follow still this gets so open and i want to remind you 99 zone 99 speed 99 play record on defense right here and still we're just getting cooked so 
The last read is obviously gonna be the corner out to the tight end late, but you're pretty much never gonna throw it. He didn't throw that once on me. The corner out from the tight end is pretty easy to guard. It's just there to open up the post. So one more time, I'm just gonna read the play streak. Nothing easier than that. Oh my god. See, that's uh, that's what 99 zone 99 play rec will do for you. One more time. Now I'm not gonna throw a pick. How about that, guys? All right, just check it down to running back. Very easy. Take it up the field. Now that is. All for this setup of post, there's a variation of that, which is going to be smart route the post on the outside. Uh, put McCaffrey on this flat route, and then everything stays the same. You just have another read to the tight end. That is just, you have to kind of, here's where we get into talking about defense a little bit. On defense, you can attack, you can defend the outside by double mabling both sides, or you can defend the middle. For example, how you would double mabel out of, um, out of uh, uh, Big Nickel over G is something like this, and then this guy would be manned up, let's say, on the. This guy would be manned up on the running back, and this guy would be my user. Uh, this is how you defend the sideline. This uh, cat type of defense would be susceptible to something like this, which attacks the middle hard. You can see how the middle of the field is wide open for the streak. There's going to be the angra coming to the middle, there's going to be the post coming to the middle. So, this is how you attack. The, uh, the middle of the field and then this setup right here is more to attack the outside you can see we have we have uh halfback and tight end going to the flats we have a corner out behind every one of those flats and just to make sure we have the post over the middle that kind of keeps the opponent uh, the, the user in the middle of the field so if your opponent adjusts to the previous setup you just played which might be something like man up the tight end but I'll show you in a vert hook just so you have someone someone in the middle of the field that can kind of muddy up a read and maybe then go uh, with a hard flat on the right side. Whatever. And uh, now this setup will feast. Now obviously the running back on the left is not gonna be open on the right is not gonna be open. Uh, but you see how the post is still gonna be open. And just mix those two setups up if the if your opponent decides to cover the, the outside of the field, go to the first setup with the streak and the smart route. If he decides to be a little more passive and decide it uh, covers the middle of the field, then of course we're going to feast. Boom, get it out there to Kelsey. Very nice. Now that is all for PA shot post, but he ran way more on me than that. So we're going to audible. Uh, let's just audible to Les Wise Hale. Les Wise Hale was, was a play that he just ran very stock like this, just streak tight end. I uh, shouldn't be on the guy no, that's using, uh, that's in the zone. Let me change that real quick. But all he did right there. He just uh, streaked the tight end, or he didn't, either or. Sometimes he did, sometimes he didn't, actually. I'll just show you with the streak right here, then he will throw this. It, levels wise sale, you guys should know how to run levels wise sale, but he did not ever make a mistake. Uh, what he would do is he would run, he would snap the ball, he would try to get outside of the pocket, and then he would just make me choose which in route I wanted to cover, and then do the opposite one. This play has such good spacing, to where if he runs outside of the pocket i have to kind of chase him because otherwise he would scramble but i also have to keep a lookout on the in routes from the back side so that is very very difficult to stop but yeah levels, levels by sale is pretty stock either streak or don't whichever one you prefer uh the play that really gave me fits was this pa birds now you see we have a crosser from the tight end that is a little bit deeper than a regular uh crossing route from let's say tight end friends because if i put a tight end practice cross around him he's a little bit shorter than oops my bad he's a little bit shorter than he's right here on this cross and that's what we want to use uh, we want to put thumbs on interrupt we want to put kill on a delay fade and we want to block the halfback just to cancel the play action if you want to keep the play action that's obviously fine but i i would like to cancel it now you can see we can throw that over the top with the pass lead up the field really easily and now the, where it gets really interesting is if we incorporate the delay fade so i'll just set this up one more time i as a user have to cover the cross i have to cover the in routes oh well i also have to cover uh the delay fade now obviously this right here didn't look uh, as good because i kind of had everything covered uh i kind of had everything set up to cover the delay fade but not to cr the cross so i'll just read it out and there will always be something open right there nobody's gonna animate on that like Maybe once every 50 throws, someone is going to animate on that crossing route. Uh, the other thing is also, oh my god, I sent the wrong thing. Oh, whatever, just throw it away. I got an audible uh, to PA Verts. 
one thing that i have not touched on yet uh, is this post drought it is really nice now obviously this looked very tight i would have thrown it to the in route right there i'll uh, just run it again and show you what the throw that i would have made so if you see the middle of the field zones drop back like that take the in route take your easy yards there's nothing easier than that you're gonna make your opponent kind of get a little bit more aggressive try to maybe cover that in route a little bit more and this is then when you will be able to hit the post over the middle of the field obviously not right there that only works in practice but if my opponent were to click on right there that's probably a pick but this post is very similar to one out of uh, posts that's how the play is called uh, from the outside receiver it gets in a nice area in between the uh, hook curls and in between the deep cells so definitely something you want to check out the other thing that he did is he would sometimes streak kill not even on the delay fade and he would chop block right like this so what he would do not bad uh, double team this guy and then chop block him and now it's even easier to get outside of the pocket boom uh yeah that is pretty much all that he did one more final play that i want to show you guys that he really did not run uh did not run smartly on me i uh, this smash play smash play this smash play is really nice against cover two uh because of the deep corner out so i'll just run this right here and what i would do is i would just put mccaffrey on this flat route so boom gonna snap this right here and now you can see my bad that looked horrible let me try that again let me try that again all right now this looks a little bit better but you see this is a cover two killer also what would, what would have been open uh is the middle of the field with the tight end streaking down the field just like will ferrell you will see i can hit that boom oh my god <laughs> all right maybe wait a little bit longer also you can streak him i kind of don't like to be honest with you guys i don't like the inside angle that he takes so one more time this is actually the wrong play but you will see oh my god still oh, still almost fit that in but it is very important you guys are patient one thing that i haven't mentioned at all yet is the running game but it, this is also very solid out of a slot asset make sure to not sprint behind the line of scrimmage that is one thing that i've really paid attention to lately and it has worked out brilliantly oh my god we're getting shed shedded right now but we'll try it one more time and then i'll call it a video basically what you want to do is just uh only a maneuver with your left stick don't use r2 until you're in the open field and run this ball one more time and you can see how i can consistently get five yards and obviously this that didn't look pretty right there another thing that is really good is the um trap out of a slot offset i'm not gonna uh show this to you because it would just take way too long just to show off a run but know that the 01 trap is an amazing run out of a slot offset now that is it for the video let me put the controller down i hope you enjoyed this video i know this is not something that really fits together with a lot of my schemes but if you're looking for a tough offense again he only ran these plays and he absolutely destroyed me just be patient just make the right reads and you should be good this was very frustrating to face, I can tell from my experience. I played this game, like I said, on stream. I'm gonna be streaming right after this video goes up. I'm gonna finish up my weekend league. If you wanna be there, link to my Twitch is in the description. This obviously, honestly might be, with how many plays it has, or how few plays it rather has, this might be one of the glitchiest schemes out there right now. I really struggle with it. If you have some defense for it, please let me know because I don't wanna lose to that ever again. It was so frustrating. Then he started quick kicking me because these plays are very free adjustments and it was just a pain in the ass i'm done appreciate you taking the time watching the video till next time subscribe peace out